What's going on, y'all? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, numbers tell you useful information. Shocker. But it's amazing how much time we don't spend looking at the numbers. I know I'm guilty of it. The biggest number that I look at on a very regular basis is gross sales. How much have we done? What do we need to do to beat every day, every month, every week, every year? I hope that's not too shaky, but whatever. So I'm going through the automate gross sell, and one of the tools Josh said to do was basically, you know, put out your sales per month for each of the last couple of years. So, folks, do you want to see my numbers? Ta da! Here they all are. Here's every single month for the last four years. Or sorry, one, two, three, four, five, five years. Um, and then 2019's up here as well. But the goal here really is one was just talking about, you know, what percent of your jobs, which is this row, uh, or percent of your annual revenue comes in each month. And focusing on the months that are 5% and above to know, you know, to help you figure out how much, you know, where you should be spending more marketing, which months are your biggest months, and a lot of other things from there. The key, though, here is to really look at these things and see, okay, you know, if you look, the more data you have, the more accurate your information is going to be. So, you know, if, if I want to drop out, you know, 2014 and 2015 when we were doing quite frankly garbage numbers and look at these last three years the numbers might be a little bit skewed but they're actually pretty accurate um i already looked at 2018 not too far off within a within a percent of most of these numbers 8.8 9.7 14.6 13 point six um you know Winter months can be make or break it. You know, we, January was, you know, not a big change these last couple of years. Um, you know, doing 11,000 last February instead of six grand was a huge jump there. March, same thing, doing 25 versus 11, that was a big jump. There's a big, big, been uh, some pretty decent jumps as well there. Um, but then it gives you a way to then look at, okay, well, if our goal is 500, 600, 700, what do we need to be doing in these months? Well, the crazy thing, folks, is when I look at what we've already done in January 2019, that kicks the five grand goal, the six grand goal, the seven grand goal for 700,000 there. We did 14 grand. 14 in January. It's nuts. Again, made it pretty obvious a large chunk of that is Facebook, which quite frankly is a push marketing there. Getting in front of people that might not necessarily be interested in using our services quite at the moment and getting those leads. Where we're at already. This is saying I should do 18,000 there. Well, we're halfway through the month and we've done nine grand already. Got the ability to push that to close to, to 20 maybe by the end of this month. And that will crush, I mean, we're, we're going to crash that, that 500 portion. We should be able to crush that 600 portion that we would need to be there. But it, it's cool to look over at these other numbers and really start looking at it and saying, all right, well, good grief. If we hit 700 this year, we're going to need to do in May bust that $100,000 revenue level. Hit June and be pretty stinking close to that again. And then carry some monster months in July, August. Um, hit, a, hit a big month in October. And then I really want to see these two months really go up November, December because we've added the Christmas lights. So that's an added boost to that. And so looking at this, this now gives me more information, y'all. 
to be able to look at this. And no matter what your numbers are, like, don't get caught up on the fact that, oh, look, Rob did 51 grand. Look, we used to do five grand a month in May. Then we did eight and thought we were pretty cool. Then we hit 20. It was like, oh, my goodness. Then we hit 30 in June two years ago, and then we started hitting the 50s. And this 49,250, these also don't account. We still have some other stuff that's been donated in these months. Um, gross revenue, what we actually really did was over 50 for both of those months. And it's just, it's insane to us to really look back and say, man, like three or four years ago, it was like, we, we did five grand and, and that was that was like the best month of the year. And now we do 50 and it's it's crazy. But I mean, this the whole point of this is if the more information you put down here, it will teach you things. You will be able to learn more about your numbers. And then you can look at this stuff. And sorry, my computer wants to be slow. So now I'm over here looking at, okay, so market cost per job. Not necessarily per lead, but per actual com converted customer. Average job, what do we average each year? Okay, so we went from 399, went up 70 bucks, went up about 80 bucks last year. You know, what's 2019 gonna be? Let, let's take that up to 650, let's go up 100 bucks. Total revenue, total customers. Um, task, this was a random stat, it was how many, because this included like, we're doing more jobs on each house. Um, you know, how much did we spend? You know, this year, our goal is to spend in the neighborhood of $35,000 on marketing. I want to keep that percentage up high for what we're spending compared to last year's numbers so that we can absolutely crush it. I mean, if we use these numbers, and this, this quite frankly, this cost per average or cost per customer job that we're getting um, is something that I need to be more efficient on on you know, marketing methods that are not in that $40 or less per converted customer to spend more money on Facebook where we're averaging $16 per customer to push more on that. So by the end of this year, this should be down a lot lower. I'd like to get it quite frankly below 20, which is just an amazing thing. And that, that really turns that $30,000. We can then put some numbers in here. I mean, if we do, Let's say we spend $35,000. If we can do $20 per job, average job, let's say we get this to, let's just say even say 600. And so total revenue, we would take this average, or sorry, we would take marketing divided by Average job times, sorry, cost per, per customer. That's That puts us at 1 million and 50. Folks, if this happens, we'll be celebrating this video. Do I think we're going to hit that this year? I don't. But this is what really gives you that I, that ability to look at. And let's just change this for a moment here. And sorry, I'm... Trying to hold the phone. So if we do 30,000, that puts us at 900. So let's mess with this number. Let's just say it costs us $30. What does that change us to? 600. That's a more realistic number. Now let's let's change this back because I can I can absolutely spend more money on marketing. So 35 grand puts me at $700,000. And that's if we only go up 50 bucks. Well, looking at this path and my goal this year, we're probably going to be adding window cleaning. Let's just change that to 650. That adds another $58,000 there. So you can really start seeing these metrics. Let's drop this to 25. What does that do? That puts us at 910. Because it's by putting in the information over here. And then you can start extrapolating based off of that information where you should be. You know, what, what's a realistic goal? Is $900,000 a pie-in-the-sky goal? 
Or is this something that if we really look at it, based off of historical information, you know, if we spend, if we double our marketing spend this year to 35000 could we do $900,000 in revenue? It, it blows my mind to even think about that. But then, okay, so if, if that's our goal, if that's what we can do, if we put in thirty five grand into marketing and keep that, you know, that that cost per converted customer or converted prospect into a into a customer, and get that average up some, you know, that, that's a nice that's a nice increase. Let's let's drop to six twenty five. What does that put us at? Oh, just a measly eight seventy five. But without again, without all of this data, we can't give an actual path to get to those numbers. We can't look at these numbers at 500, 600, 700 and look at this. And there's more stuff in the super course that talks about then how many crews do you need to produce? What do you need to produce 62,000? Probably more than two employees. They might hate you if you make them do $62,000 worth of work. Um, you might need three crews you might need four crews depending on what your averages are and what they can produce you know how many crews do you need at a given time there's a lot more into it um i knocked out about 40 lessons over the last 48 hours between a lot of drive time and stuff listening to it in the car uh, and now getting to sit on my computer and really put this data in so again these numbers are not to brag just to show you what you can figure out and what you can do by learning your numbers.